We have other types of classification, which will be the batch process. This is, it is a process that is being fed once, then time elapses, and then the process products are removed. So you feed, you close, you react, and you discharge. Continuous process, as I told you, it's the input and output flows react continuously throughout the duration of the process, so there's no change in time. The semi-batch process will be the combination of batch continuous. So you have some type of this process batch and you have this type of, this type of continuous process. For example, charging a reactor. In general, when you are like starting up a reactor, you don't have the desired concentration. So the first five hours, the concentration of A, let's say, starts at zero and finishes in, I don't know, 20%. And then you can operate the reactor at 20%, all what you want, all, day, all time long. But you need to change from this 0% to this 0%. 20% here, so just pay attention. We're not going to see this too much. This is more like a typical in reactor engineering, but you need to at least know that it 